Hey everybody, today we have a, another Sony to look at. This is a VPL HW45ES. I picked this up on eBay. I'm actually hoping to fix this for myself. Um, I currently am running a VPL HW40, which is the slightly older version of this. Um, I got this on eBay because allegedly it has bad HDMI ports. That's a common problem with this series. I don't know why. Um, I actually have a main board for a VPL HW40 that I repaired the HDMI ports on. I replaced that chip right there. I'm going to check and see if it's the same chip I'll get another one or maybe I'll even steal that chip. I'm not sure. But I have the board the uh, projector that this board is for has a damaged red um, LCOS panel, so it's not really repairable. I just decided to turn it into a parts unit. Uh, this is much nicer for me. So let's start opening it up and let's get inside and see what's going on. So I set a piece of foam under it. The foam will keep the top from getting scratched. Let's take the lamp assembly out see what that looks like. Oh, OEM. It's at LMP, H oh, LMP H210. I worked on one of these a while ago that I ended up having to get a main board for because I didn't realize that chip was available. Actually, I think at the time it wasn't available. Let's see here. Phillips, you, I don't like Phillips, that is an original lamp assembly though, not too dirty, it is, well, it will need a new lamp, that lamp looks like it's starting to wear out, it's alright, I know where to get them, let's get these screws out, I have a piece of foam underneath to protect the plastic so that I don't scratch the top of that case up. Black just shows up scratches so well. Yeah, filter's not bad looking. Fan in there feels good. All right. That's it. I think I got that one already. Did I? Yes. Okay. That, that should do it. Boom. Then we just have to unplug, unplug the keyboard. Pardon me. and I didn't trash the top at all, so that's good. This really does look like a 40 inside. I mean, the 40 was basically the same projector. I think the difference, I think the 45 has better 3D support, maybe? I know it's a little brighter, like barely brighter. Like a hundred or two hundred lumens brighter, which really isn't much. Uh, is that it? You got to get under here, and we're probably going to have to take the um, 
optic block out. Definitely need to take the front off. So that's, I believe that's four screws. That one, two, three. forget about this screw. There's a little, little guy in the front. So now we can take that vent out. That screw that I dropped. Alright, now let's look at the boards. Man, these are like identical. Hmm. I wonder if I could just drop this board in. Well, let me just mark this one. That's the 40. Because the chips do look the same. We'll take them out and compare before we uh, before I make a decision. I think if I just switch them though, I won't actually have a 45 ES. I think it'll still be a 40. So let's just keep going here. We need to get this whole middle assembly out to get to that. It's not too bad though. I've done it before. It all comes out together. We just have to disconnect some wires. Look over here, we disconnect that wire. And then we need to disconnect the ballast. Let's get that out. Well, I mean the ballast stays the uh, wire. Lamp power wire, that guy. That comes out. And then back here, the screw that holds a ground strap. It's got to come out. Now that all stays because this is part of the uh, center assembly. Let's just set that back here. Then, let's see, let's unplug that temperature sensor. And then this guy, this is a thermal switch, thermal breaker. So let's get that guy out. Okay, then we have the screws down in here. Okay, so that middle part's loose. Let's disconnect the power to the uh, LCOS board and then the video feed. And I think all right, looking good. Let's get these wires out of there. So now that should lift out. There we go. Beautiful. There's the optic assembly. I'm going to go set that out of the way. So there's the original board. Here is the other board. 
Boy, that thing's identical. What do we got here? What's our part number? A2122136A. 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 160908A. 160429A. 160429A. Hmm. Maybe we should try it. Well, let's take this one out. Let's mark it. That's the 45. So let's take it out. And then I'll check on. There's a couple websites that actually sell the parts. And I'm going to see if they list the same part number for the uh, 45 and the 40 main board. Because if they do, then I'm just probably going to drop that board right in. Instead of uh, switching the chips. I was thinking of just replacing that chip. And I still might. I mean, I will. It's not even if uh, I put this other board in. I'll repair this board so that I have a spare. One, two, three, and then Actually, I just see. I just saw a uh, glaring difference between the two, so I cannot drop this in. The um, the board from the 40 has a land jack on it. Oh wait, no, this one does too. Just not used. Guess not. All right. Maybe they are the same. what I'm thinking is I can put this other board in and then just flash it with the uh, 45 firmware because they do look the same oh, one more screw I think what I'm going to do is remove this chip, and then after that chip's removed, I'll do some research to see. But man, these these look identical. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see, look, it just drops in. Oh, so tempted, so so tempted. But I should probably do it the right way and get the chip for this one. Let's see, and that chip is a silicon image, uh, silicon image, S, what's it say, S something, SLI 9589CTUC3. SIL 9589CTUC. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to remove this chip and uh, I'm going to get a new one just to be on the safe side so I don't ruin that other board since it's already fixed.
Not bad, I came right off. And there we go. Chip is soldered in. It was a pain. It's never easy with this one because it got all those little capacitors and you know inductors around that you can't bump. But we should be good. Let's go ahead and set this in. There we are. That's good. And then this one. I think that's ballast control. I'm not sure, but I think so. Let's see. That one goes here. That one goes here. All right. Wires are plugged in. Get those down. And let's put those screws back in. Now, since these are all metal threads, I don't have to do that thing where you find the beginning of the thread it just does that by itself now if I were screwing <clears throat> pardon me back into the plastic like I will with some of the other parts then I will make sure we uh, refine those threads correctly Oops. don't want to slip like that gotta watch sometimes you slip with a screwdriver you could hit capacitor or something in there and make a mess. Don't want to do that. Okay. I think that's it. Let's see. One, two, three, four. And then we have ones in the front. Probably put the. Nah, I'll do it now. I was gonna put the um, these guys in later, but there's really no point. If I put the other ones in, I might as well put these in. So I'd like to test this just to make sure first, but I got to put the optic block and everything back in anyway. So we'll have some faith that. My uh, solder job was good. Should be. Oops. All right. Oh, and don't forget to plug this wire back in. I had paused the camera before I realized I didn't plug that back in. That's for one of the fans. Okay, optic block. Wires are out of the way.
<clears throat> there we go. If you get this to line up, and then pay attention to down there where that pin comes through, you'll have a good chance of getting it first time. Okay, so that's pretty good. That might even be good enough at least to get it ready for testing. So let me let's get these. Let's see, that goes to the keyboard. And then these go here. Come on. There we are. Now this side is pretty important to get back together. It has the uh, connector for the lamp right there. Now I don't have the other um, optic block screws in yet, and that's okay because we're gonna fire this up before I um, before I do that. I want to make sure everything works first. I forget how this was managed, but we'll figure that out. Up oh, and then. Let's get our temperature sensor plugged back in right here, this little guy. And then this wire goes through right there. And then the silver screw holds it down. There we go. Then, this guy, that's our main video info, and then power to the um, LCOS control board, and that's it for that. Um, we have another fan, this guy, and I'm just going to set it in. Plug it in, and we'll set. We'll put one screw just to um, hold it in place, so I can flip it around to put the lamp in. Let's we'll put in this screw. So I put 
the uh, screws back in for the lamp, and I have that uh, clutch set all the way to the lowest possible point so that I don't over tighten it. Okay, I think the filter, I can't remember if there's a switch, but I think there is, so let's just put that in. Alright, so keyboard and we'll try it. And I popped the keyboard off so we can just kind of hang this off to the side and try it. All right, let's, uh, let's power it up, and if it powers up, then we'll go try it on uh, HDMI. All right, now it's plugged in. Green light. Fans. Okay. I see light. That's good. I'm just going to see if we get menu and stuff. Then we'll shut it down and we'll take it over and try it with a real signal. Alright, I see something coming up there. Oh, you guys can't really see. Right there. So, menu. Hey, there's menu. Alright. I'm going to let it cool down, grab my HDMI test stuff, and then we'll test it over there, and if it works over there, we'll put all the rest of the uh, screws back in. Well, it's powered up. We have it plugged in, so let me... As soon as we see some light, we'll point at the screen. Oh, let me start the, uh, the video. Light's coming up. Hey, look at that. Picture's coming up. Let me close this number. Got a little bit of light bleed. Wow, that looks great. It's not even up to uh, full brightness yet. Just wanted to see what the hours were. There we go. I like that one. Back normal, that's normal. Oh, wait a minute. All right. I like it. All right, let's shut it down and then let's put the rest of these screws back in. Oh, that's input. Let's put this one in. All right. Oh, oh no, that's good. And this one. What's that? All right, so those screws are back in. Let's, let's spin her around and you disconnect that keyboard. And then we've got a couple screws here to put back in. Yeah. 
I cut new threads there. So we have one, two, three, four screws for this. some case screws back in. Forgot to spin that one. I cut a thread. Bad Frank. Oh well. I'm looking forward to seeing this on my screen. Good. All right, top is back on. Let's see, Let's see if this remote works. Yeah, power worked. That's good. The fans are on. Yep, oh, there we go. It's lighting up. picture and that's not even focused that's just kind of set up and pointing what a nice image oh I'm happy with that another one down I, I love it when I can fix these old Sony's older Sony's be quiet camera There you have it. Turn the light 
back on. I'm going to let this run for a few hours just to make sure everything's 100%, 110%, which it should be. Um, I'm really happy with that. If you need a repair on your Sony, um, 40, 45, actually any one that kind of uses that chassis, um, I'll put a link to the part number for that chip um, or get in touch. I might be able to help you out. I not really taking in projectors right now but that hopefully will change soon i mean i'm taking some in but i'm not really going to go into it now but basically these are repairable if you have one with a bad hdmi port they are not trash they're definitely repairable i'll probably have my 40 for sale um depending on when you watch this video uh it might be sold might not be i'll have a link in the description with um uh, to the ad for the uh, VPL HW40 that I'm going to be replacing this with. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and stick them down in the comments. If you need a LMP H210 for one of these, go ahead and check a link in the description. I'll have a coupon code in there, save you 5%. On uh, And, um, yeah, if you don't subscribe to my channel, think about hitting that subscribe button. It helps me out and doesn't cost you anything. But uh, most importantly, as always, thank you for watching.